Hi, for this video, what I want to do is talk to you about inductive reasoning versus deductive reasoning. Both types of reasonings are often taught in logic classes or geometry classes, and they are something that do show up quite a bit in mathematics. Inductive reasoning is forming a generalization based on specific observations, patterns, or premises. So from this one, you're going from specific examples to a general conclusion. So for example, if you have a premise, blue jays can fly, ducks can fly, and herons can fly. Those are all things that we can observe in the wild, things that we know to be true. Our conclusion that follows from that is that all birds can fly. So with inductive reasoning, our conclusion doesn't necessarily have to be a valid conclusion. It is something that could be incorrect. We know that there are birds that cannot fly, but based on the evidence and the premises that we've set down, it logically follows that all birds can fly. Um, Inductive reasoning is considered strong if a compelling case is made for its conclusion, and it's considered weak if the conclusion is not well supported. Inductive reasoning is often used in court cases where you have evidence for somebody doing something, and we know that sometimes the jury ends up making the wrong decision based on the evidence, but they are basing their decision based on the information that they are given. So if we know that we have evidence of types of birds flying, it's logical to say that all birds can fly. So the example that I gave in here is kind of like in a court case where you have evidence and sometimes the conclusion that you reach from that evidence is not the correct conclusion. Deductive reasoning, on the other hand, starts with general principles or premises and leads to a specific conclusion. So for example, in a deductive reasoning argument would be in the premise, all dogs have fur. Premise, pugs are dogs. We know both of those are true. And then our conclusion follows that pugs have fur. So we have a specific conclusion that pugs have to have fur since pug is a type of dogs and all dogs have fur. Hopefully this helps you to understand the difference between inductive and deductive. So again, just to um, restate it, Inductive reasoning, you have specific examples that lead to a general conclusion. And deductive reasoning, you have general premises that lead to a specific conclusion. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.